The second stop of the GT Winter Series, Estoril, Portugal. The unpredictable Atlantic weather didn't only cause a stormy coast, but also led to an exciting race day at the well-known former Formula One track. A starting field of 44 cars crowded the Circuito do Estoril, promising race action throughout the whole day. Besides well-known teams like Schnitzel Elm or Olymp Racing, there were plenty of new cars and teams in the entry list. For example, the Nova NP02 of ANS Motorsport or a whole pack of Ferrari 488 Challenge Evos competing in the Cup 1 class. It's really nice, it's challenging, it's fast and uh, yeah, it's good. I love it. Qualifying started on the drying 4.3 kilometers of tarmac and times got faster and faster with every lap. The time that no one could beat was set by Christian Korzenowski in the Olymp Audi R8 GT3. Pole position for the first race of the weekend. The GT4 pole belongs to Simon Prim in the CV Performance Mercedes AMG GT4, proving great skills in these tricky conditions. Dustin Blattner shined in his Porsche 992 Cup and even made it in front of some GT3s. Qualifying was really good. We uh, were P1 in both class, um, in our class in both qualifying sessions. Uh, I think we start P10 overall on the grid, which, uh, considering the class we're in, is very, very good. So uh, we're looking forward to the race. It's kein einfaches Poly, aber ich habe es einmal gut umgesetzt jetzt mit dem ersten Platz in der GT4 Klasse. Und jetzt im Rennhof natürlich auch weiter nach vorne zu kommen und auch dort wieder zu gewinnen. The first sprint race of the weekend starts on a still damp track, causing an unexpected first crash in lap one. The CV Performance AMG and the Cayman of Jens Richter spun into the Cup Porsche of Leandro Martin. The safety car was only deployed for two laps until the field tightened up again and the drivers got back into race mode. Christian Korzenowski in his R8 reopened the race and gained the lead. Meanwhile, there is strong competition between Kenneth Heyer and Michael Yeos, which is interrupted by another safety car phase caused by a Ligier JS2R rolling out. Under high pressure, and with just four laps to go, the race reopened with plenty of action throughout the field, with the number 5 R8 GT3 from Olymp in the lead, followed by Yos in the number 91 car and Kenneth Heyer, car number 101, in the third position. The race came to an end by a red flag caused by a crash in Turn 1. Thomas Fleming, who is completely new to the Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo, was immediately comfortable with his car and directly won the Cup 1 class. The team's really happy with how I'm performing, um, considering it's the first time, especially around this track as well. It's completely foreign to us, so um, yeah, no, it's going really well. I love the car as well. It's an absolute dream to drive. It's really interesting. I hope the weather will remain constant. That's what we have in the last few haben. Second sprint race starts and Marcel Marciewicz defends his pole position against Dustin Blattner and Jonathan Brossard in the Nova NP02. Meanwhile, the battle between the Huber and Manti racing Porsches went on and showed precise fighting with the Porsche Cup car. The end, the winner was Schnitzel Alm Racing with Marcel Marcevitz. Yeah, it's super funktioniert. I have geschafft direct from vorne wegzufahren, paar schnelle Runden auf dem Asphalt uh, zu brennen. Von daher einfach mega viel Spaß gehabt. I think it's a, it's a great day. I mean this morning uh, it was wet, but it's turning out to be an awesome day. The track conditions have been dry for like the past two races, so couldn't be happier. 
The starting grid for the 60-minute endurance race is determined by the addition of the two sprint results. Therefore, it was not the Schnitzelalm AMG that was at the front, but Blattner in the Manti Porsche. The race begins and much of it squeezes in front of Blattner. Jonathan Brossard unfortunately crashed with Pietro Weira in his Mercedes AMG GT3 and both lost their positions in the front. As the sun sets, Olymp Bracing is competing strong, but has the same fate, spun and lost precious time. Winner of the day was Schnitzel Alm Racing with Marcel Marchevitz and Kenneth Heyer proving themselves as great pilots in all conditions. Dustin Blattner had also more than enough reasons to celebrate competing with the GT3s in every race. Last but not least, Tom Fleming ended up on the podium as well. What a start into his GT racing career. Plenty of action, mixed conditions and precise racing led to a great day of racing in Estoril, Portugal. Two podiums overall uh, in a car which is not as fast as the GT3s and some of the cup car drivers. So, uh, no, I'll, I'll take that. Next stop is the fully booked GT Winter Series in Jerez.